Hey guys, welcome back. Dynamic charts are a powerful feature to make a presentation with a chart. These charts can automatically change dynamically. For example, we can use a slider bar and as we click on it, the elements of the chart will appear piece by piece. In this lecture, we will learn how to create such a dynamic chart from scratch. First of all, we will need a tab called Developer. It's possible we don't see it on the ribbon. If you don't have it, right-click any other tab and select Customize the Ribbon. On the right-hand side, click the box for Developer and OK. Now go to Developer tab and click on Insert button. From Form Controls, we want to select Scroll Bar. We want to design it vertically, beside the Sales column. Right now, Sales column has only one value which is a function I will display later. All the values are on column K, which you can't see because we decrease the size a lot. Look. So, make sure first to transfer your values data in a separate column. OK, now right-click on scroll bar and choose Format Control. January has 31 days, so the minimum value is 1, the maximum value is 31, which is the last day of January. We have to link the values with a cell. Let's click C24. Click OK. Press down or upper arrow and see the change to cell C24. The linked cell doesn't have to appear, so it's better to hide it by moving down scroll bar or change the color to white, but we'll do it later. OK, let's create a line chart based on our data table. Highlight them, go to Insert tab and choose Line with Markers chart. Make it uh, bigger. OK, look at cell B2. This is the secret formula that pulls all the data together. C24 was the linked cell from Switchbox. Day is the function that shows the exact day of our date. For example, for the cell A30, the day is 29. The formula here is checking to see if cell C24 is greater than or equal to the entry in the left. Of course, C24, which is 1, is equal with A2 cell, which is also 1. If C24 value was less than 1, then it will display the error non-available. Now go to B2 cell, to the bottom right corner, and slide all the way down until cell B32. We can see the error NA, which means non-value is available. Click the down arrow from scroll bar and look the data in the chart. When the value of C24 cell increases to 2, for example, the sales in B3 appears because value 2 is equal with day 2, and so on. But we have another problem. We don't want to display error NA in our data table. We want to somehow remove the error. How we do that? Highlight the cells from B2 to B32. Go to Home tab, click Additional Formatting and select New Rule. The rule type we want is Use a formula to determine which cells to format. Type in the box equal is NA parenthesis B2. Close parenthesis. Click on Format button and from Colors select White. Let's explain it. When Excel finds a cell with error non-available, it will make it white and we can't see it, of course. OK, see the data table. Let's play with scroll bar and make sure they are all fine. If you want the worksheet to look like a dashboard, there are some rules and some settings that have to be done. First, go to View tab and uncheck green lines, headings and formula bar. Second, avoid unnecessary data labels and remove access and legends that you don't use. 
Third, use conditional formatting feature from Home tab. It will add icons to highlight important values. These are three characteristics of dashboards, but there are many more that are beyond the scope of this lecture. This is the base of how to create a dynamic chart and I hope that from now on you will create fantastic dynamic charts for a business presentation or anything else. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next lecture. Bye.